up guys, I just wanted to jump on and uh, show you new guitar day. So I picked up this guitar Wednesday. I got it from Sweetwater. This is undoubtedly a Jim Jr., right? And there's really nothing junior about this. This guitar is, you know, really hardcore spec for the money. I paid $4.99 for this. And I have been wanting one for some time now since Ibanez released them. Now, um, I've gone to Guitar Center several times in my town here, Houston, and I've had a chance to play several of these Jim Juniors, and this was 24, 2015, 2014, 2015, the I think we started rolling out, right? And the Jim Juniors I played were great guitars, but they weren't, you know, like, oh my god, the best one I'd ever seen at the Guitar Center, right? I'm trying to get the, uh, made in Indonesia. So, at Guitar Center I've played several of these and they were just junk. And as much, as, as strong as the Ibanez guitar is, um, the ones I had played were not the best, right? They were not the best. And so, you know, when these first came out, I believe these were made in China. The original first 2014 and 2015 ones were made in China. This is a 2016, um, based on the serial number, which is I1601163348. That computes to being January of 2016. So this guitar, you know, I'm filming this in May, mid-May. This guitar is five months old. So literally fresh off the boat from Indonesia, uh, straight to Sweetwater, and from Sweetwater straight to my studio. And she is a beautiful guitar. There was really nothing wrong with it. They did a great inspection on it, and um, I'm just so overwhelmed with the absolute quality and stunning beauty this guitar holds. So if you're on the fence about getting possibly one of these Jim Juniors because, oh, you know, the fret ends are going to, nope, the fret ends are perfect. Um, there is, they're as good as my Gibsons, if not even better. There's no visible blemishes. Even where the filing was done, there's no visible blemishes. Everything is perfect. Um, like I said, I played some of these at Guitar Center, and they really weren't the best ever. And I, I bought this guitar sight unseen. I just said, Sweetwater, if you get one in the next month, send me one. And they did. They sent me one that first, you know, May 1st. They sent it to me. It got here in like five days or less, three days. So, um... Uh has um, you know like a st standard Floyd Rose and so what I mean by that is if you if you've bought in recent Ibanez's you notice how they have that wheel in there that you can turn no this is just an old school style Floyd Rose licensed by Ibanez so see the Ibanez logo I mean to be to be honest guys this guitar is is better than anything that came out of like pre-2005 in terms of the technology I have a USA Custom Ibanez over there, and I have two um, RG3XXVs, a 25th anniversary Ibanez, a red and the blue. You've seen them on my channel. I have Gibsons on the wall. I have Washburns on the wall. This is better than most of the guitars on my wall, with the exception of the USA and then maybe the Studio Gibson and uh, maybe a Jackson I have. My, my Washburn's really good, too. stock. I haven't changed anything on her except the strings. Um, I'm rocking uh, a hybrid set on the top. 
and then eight set on the bottom. So the first three strings, one, two, three, are eight, eight um, gauge sets, and these are 46, 36, and like 26 gauge. So because it's a longer scale length, um, I needed more slink in my bend. And then uh, these are the, the stock pickups, the Quantums, I believe they are. The, I, I like them, but I'll probably change them. I think I want a PAF in the neck. And then maybe, um, who knows? I, I, mean, I might even throw the Gibsons in here, like like a 498 in a, uh, RT and a 490R. I might, I might do that, like a 498T and a 490R and just leave the middle pickup. I was thinking about changing the configuration, maybe just having a, a, a single coil in the neck and then a bridge humbucker getting rid of the tone switch and just like I was thinking about I was thinking about moving the volume right here and just leaving the tone pot in there because I'm not gonna ever gonna change the tone and in this place putting a kill switch. Yeah I was thinking about doing that right and so like have have a humbucker, nothing, a single coil, kill switch, volume and then the three way selector. That's what I was thinking about doing. I probably might do that to this guitar. And I might even do a Van Halen paint scheme on this guitar. We'll see man. Um, how about those how about those uh, flowers, man? So now I've oiled this neck twice since I've got it. And I've, uh, you know, put fret ease or finger ease on it just now before I started playing it. So that's why it looks so shiny and, and godly. But the frets are perfect. The inlays are perfect. This guitar is perfect. I, I mean, I, I cannot recommend this enough, guys. We need to have more of these in the States so that later on down the road when you're in a pawn shop, you can grab one of these because this is a super guitar for the money. It's really amazing, dude. We're running through the Marshall VS100 in channel 3 with a, a healthy amount of gain. This is what it sounds like, bypass. electronic alter ego in the loop. For the pedals up front right here I have the Archer and um, the uh, the more green mile and so I'm stacking them with no gain on each just treble maxed on both. So they're set into boost mode. And you can tell the amp is a little bit on breakup edge. Go ahead and stack them up.
Ibanez would release more of these in different color schemes. If they do, I definitely will buy a few more of these guitars, just like I did with the LPJs and the um, the LPJs and the fucking uh, RG3 XXVs. I bought two of each because. The LPJs were amazing and the RG3 XXVs were amazing. This is also amazing. So if they release another color scheme, I definitely will buy one. This guitar has a scarf joint in the neck. Let's go over some of the construction aspects of it real quick. Let's see if I can get a good quality focus on that. The lights are bright too bright. Definitely got a scarf joint, which is not a problem for me. I'm happy with it. Um, the monkey grip is fine. It looks very sturdy in there. You can see it has the line that some people were talking about with the Chinese made ones that did not have the line, this has the line. This is an amazing guitar. If you see the heel joint, perfect, perfect access. Look at the neck. Look at those, I haven't even, I haven't even seen that side of the guitar because I'm always holding it right. Come on, focus. She's gorgeous, every aspect. Look at the tolerances, the spec tolerances of that. Look at that. That's a good guitar. Look at those spec tolerances right there how high the fretboard is from the body. For me, I'm like with Tone King. I like a guitar fretboard to be right there on the body. I like it to be that that good, right? Like a Gibson, nice and tight, nice and perfect. And she resonates, she resonates like a hollow tree, man. Like.
definitely has her own sound, but she sounds different with different amps I'm playing it through. I was playing through my uh, my orange, my, my Jim Root Dark Terror, and it sounded great. <laughs> And I just happened to land on the Marshall last night and left it there. Woke up this morning and decided to make this video, so I was plugged into the Marshall. Yeah, I'll probably get a pearloin pick guard for this and then maybe see if I can get like just a neck position and then a bridge with a kill switch and the volume right there. That's probably what I'm going to do with this guitar, because I hate having a volume knob right there. That's the, one of the only downsides to the fucking Ibanez RG mod model, and the gem follows suit with that, as I hate having a volume knob right there. That's kind of like how Fender is, where the volume knob is like right there in your way when you're trying to play. And um, other than that, this guitar is amazing. I really advise, this is one of those go out and buy ones. Like, play a few of them, go to several guitar shops and play two or three of them, and find the one that works for you, because like I said, I played... I played them in North Houston and Westheimer. Um, I played them in Dallas, both guitar centers in North Dallas. And this one, I got lucky. They sent it to me from Sweetwater for $4.99 in three days, and it's perfect. So maybe the ones in Guitar Center are bad, but the ones from Sweetwater are amazing. You guys rock on. I'll catch y'all next week.